Hi everybody, it's Lauren, and as you can see, I'm doing Veronica Rose's tag today. Um, I think it's really interesting that just in recent weeks that uh, there are some of us really finding the courage, I guess, to speak um, with each other on these personal levels. Maybe it is that, uh, that full moon we're having in Aries giving us a little courage. So let's, uh, let me tell you, the first question here is, um, it says prologue. What inner story needs exploring? Now, I am using the Abyssal Tarot, and just to give you a little heads up, there is a lot of nudity in this deck. I think it's tasteful, and I, I, the deck to me is beautiful, just to let you know. So the first card that came up for the inner, my inner story is the World card. So a few things came to my mind with this. You know, one is what am I, you know, putting out into the world? And one thing that's been on my mind is how can I gather what I've learned and, and my skills and tools and put it out into the world in a way that it will come back and help uh, sustain me, which has been an issue for me and it's tough because I'm always just doing, giving everything away. And uh, so that is one of the issues about the world card for me. Um, as I go a little deeper, another issue is that I would say as time has gone on, I feel more vulnerable in the world. And I, for several reasons, it, you know, there have been a lot of changes in the area in which I live. And, you know, that is one of them. But I think also, you know, this is more about what's going on internally. So I feel um, it's, you know, hard to connect with people. Now, let me just say that I have always been the type of person that uh, I find that no, ma no matter where I am, I don't really quite fit in, and I'm perfectly okay with that. And a lot of people that are on a strong spiritual path find that, that they don't quite fit in. That's fine. But I've always been the type of person that, I, you know, I question everything. I don't care where the information comes from or how wonderful the source is. I question it, and then I will often go and do some research and find out you know, what I can about whatever the topic is, especially, uh, you know, current events and things that are going on in the world. So because of that, it, it has, because of my perspectives being different and, um, and that view of questioning everything, it does put me in a, in a place where I feel a little isolated in the world. But let me go a little deeper, because really at the core of this card is that, um, you know, I really feel not just isolated, but I feel alone in the world. And at times, now I do have a couple of great friends, really good friends, but that is not the same as having somebody with me as, you know, a guy, as a partner, as a man, as a um, husband or whatever. I've never been married. So, you know, I, that did come up for me, if I'm really being honest, you know, that's what I saw here. Just I feel alone in the world and I want to connect, but I want to connect with someone that has similar values and perspectives. Okay, so the next card, uh, the next question is, okay, the backstory, how and when and why did the inner story start? And what came up here for me was the nine of pentacles. So, you know, I have had for most of my life, certainly all of my adult life, uh, a feeling of autonomy and you know I've done I always have to do everything myself and it's been it, I don't even consider asking for help most of the time and if it's offered most of the time I'll say no that's okay and I'll, I'll take care of things myself so you know I think that is these two cards really go together for me at this time and now there is a beauty of this card so I can see where some of the things seeds I've planted had manifested and, and maybe I have brought some things in my life that were you know, I mean certainly um, healing and helpful and beautiful in a certain way but it's again not enough uh, to sustain me and what I want now so this card in a certain way is almost in reverse because again um, it's it's too much independence it makes a person feel lonely now I also want to say that this was when I was growing up there was a big meme 
at the time, and a lot of propaganda in, in movies and TV shows that showed, you know, the woman out on her own, um, doing everything on her own. You know, they weren't really so much family shows, which you might have seen in um, the decades previous. But I would say, say, like maybe in the 70s and 80s, a lot of it was just the woman doing her thing alone. So I'm not blaming that, but you can't uh, really ignore, I won't ignore the fact that that propaganda was very big right now. Uh, when I was growing up, of course it's changed and there's just unbelievable propaganda coming out now in, in the media and entertainment. So, yeah, these two, so again, it's... Um, I know I got off on a tangent there, but it just has to do with me feeling like I, I have to do everything myself. So, and not really getting much back for what I put out. Okay, number three, the journey. What impact has the inner story had? So here I came with the five of cups. So at this point, you know, I am feeling a sense of loss. And... Now, I, I'm not quite sure what I would have done differently, but I have some ideas. And so this loss is, again, I would say about, like, just, you know, about being alone. Now, I've had relationships, and my last relationship was, um, it was very, it was long. It was much longer than it should have been. I learned a lot from it. I don't want to repeat any of that again. I healed from that. But it, at this point, um, you know, I, I'm just feeling sadness and loss for not having more in my life, either the ability to really sustain myself, but more for the emotional feeling of wanting someone in my life. Um, number four, what is the most effective way to balance the inner story? Okay, now, funny, what came up here is the Knight of Cups. And this is, you know, a very sens sensuous, type of card the image is um, here. Now we see the two, a man and a woman embracing, and they're really enjoying each other. And she is sort of arching her back to really lean back into him. You know, she wants his attention and his love, and he's, you know, giving it to her. Uh, so sure, that's great. That's a great answer for number four. But, you know, so how do I manifest that? So you know, when I thought about it, it, you know, it is sort of that idea of being willing to receive. But I got to tell you, you know, I, I do my inner work a lot. I always have my sleeves rolled up and I'm always doing the work. But that doesn't necessarily th mean that things are going to manifest as in the time that you want it to. So I think this is, this is beautiful and wonderful. Now, the fifth question here is the epilogue and how will changing the inner story affect me and then I came up here with the two of cups so that inner story will help me to feel uh, some harmony in the world and harmony balance intimacy and um, you know a connection a deep connection so that that, that those are the cards that I got and I think you know, for that portion of my inner story, I think they fit really well. And uh, thanks everyone for listening. Thank you, Miss Rose. And I will see you all soon. Bye now.